I'm thinking of the uh, former glove factory here, um, where I spent some time um, when I first moved to Columbus, down the road on Main Street, the men's shelter. And, uh, you know, I, I, coming back here now, um, what, four years later, um, I still see, you know, just like Boston, just like a lot of cities, um, uh, men, quote unquote, um, just in the same, like, you know, it's like, hey, it's a funny meeting you here. Um, you know, it's like one stall over in the shower or, you know, one stop down on the bus line. And it's like, oh, hey, you know, funny seeing you here after all these years, you homeless man back then, you know, when you told me, um... You know, I do hope after four years you find your place struggling in this economically deprived community of Columbus, Ohio, or Boston, Massachusetts. It's a thing. You know, maybe you might want to consider other options, but it doesn't get that far. In fact, it usually doesn't even get as far as, like, recognition of who I am. You know, it's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, who are you? You know? <laughs> and if it does get that far, because of me asking, hey, you were cool, and I know you're straight, and so, you know, after that, there's no, you know, talk to the bag, you know, it's, a, don't talk to me, you know, talk to the bag, it's, a, um, anyways, I'm thinking of those guys tonight, as I think of, uh, clothes and laundry here simple thing, you know, and uh, just like the glove factory and the guys I knew at the glove factory, former glove factory now, you know, friends of the homeless, shelter, or whatever brand they have sold to, you know, the state or the government for money. Um... You know, uh, you know, I see these guys here in Columbus, and damn if they're not wearing the exact same clothes that I saw them in, like, you know, five years ago, four years ago. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, there's a guy up here in Bexley at the library who has been a constant and was a constant five years ago. And this is not to demean him or degrade him. or You'll find out where I'm going with this. But, I mean, he wore, like, solid black, mono black, every day that I was here in Bexley, like, five years ago. Today, he wears nothing but mono black every day. There's another guy that I know from, you know, a more of the shelter down here. And he's, uh, um, you know, I got a name for him and stuff. But it's like, you know, and he was more of an advocate, shall we say, at the time for me as a homeless man. Because he knew where I was at and where I was coming from. But anyways, you know, I, I knew him as such and having such, you know, as a homeless man. Well, you know, four years later, I'm back, and he's, he's like, wearing the same coat. He, you know, it's a, he has the same jeans, you know, the pants, and, and, like, the whole, you know, bags and stuff. It's, you know, and it's like, hey... <laughs> You know, I can't help but thinking, like, hey, it's, it's, 
where do you guys do your laundry? Because, you know, it's like my clothes usually get eaten up by the laundromat if I don't, you know, pick the right laundry. So, I don't know where you guys are doing your laundry so you can still look uh, barista, you know, Starbucks barista four years later um, down the road. Or you can still look, you know, like ghetto ratty white man. Four years down the road with the same coat and, you know, stuff like that. It's, you know. Um, anyways, I say that because, you know, boys in Phoenix years ago would play on that. And, it, you know, they would use that as a ploy. Like change or... I don't know, it's getting later in the night here. And, you know, they'd use that as a ploy to get inside of a, you know, a gay man's apartment. You know, they would, like, purposely put on the same clothes, like, you know, day after day after day. And, you know, the, hoping that a gay man, of course, would notice the, you know, this homeless waif on the street you know, asking for change at the freeway, you know, would notice and and would walk up to him and say, hey, it's like I've noticed like your clothes, you tight 18-year-old muscular bulging in the pocket boy that you are that you've been wearing the same clothes like day after day as you suffer for food and change here on the free you know it, it was like it was like a you know it was like a joke with the gay boys and you know it's like hey you can do your law you know it was like to lead natty daddies like me to you know you you know I have a laundry at my apartment where you strip down and take all those nasty clothes off of you. It's <sighs> you will be clean, Eileen. And I will make sure of it, you know. Because I care, you know, for the children. It's all for the children, Mom. Nothing to do with me. It's just I'm caring for this this waif of a child. Lost and I'm just trying to help this 18 Titan tender boy. To, you know what I'm saying? So it's funny, and I'm not sure at this time of late night here in Ohio, what I'm trying to say, but it's like, it's ironic, maybe, we'll start with that, you make of it what you will, but it's like, all the gay boys back in the days of Phoenix, Arizona, four or five years ago, would use clothes as a way of like, hey, you know, I need help, because I'm wearing these same clothes day after day, and I need a some man, a big old man, who might have property to, you know, help, you know, launder my wares for me. You know, and now, what, four or five years later, we got, like, grown men still wearing the Johnny Cash mono black you know, to the libraries and the shorts and the walls, you know. And we got the rough and ready white homeless men who are wearing, seemingly, um, because I did, you know, my gaydar determined him straight at the time, and so there was no more conversation out of that. But, uh, you know, a straight white, a uh, middle-aged homeless man, you know, wearing the same clothes five years later, you know, and, uh, 
<laughs> friends and needs and f our friends indeed you know something like that it's William and we're at the shelter here um, fighting for some sensibility in this uh, latest uh, day of June 2019 in uh, the land made famous by the Italians Columbo oh I mean Columbus